Good morning, everyone. Corinne from Mama's Little Lambs. This morning, I'm going to be talking to you about family. And I'm going to be talking to you about someone absolutely very special in your family. And I'll be back in just a moment to let you know who it is. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. This morning, I'm going to be talking to you, like I said, about family. And I'm going to be talking to you today about your mother. She is so special. God made her perfect. And you are so blessed to have your mom. She adds so much joy to every day of our life. And I just want my children to know that I love them, and I am always so grateful. They come up with some really neat things for me on Mother's Day. And my son was born on Mother's Day. It'll be five years on Mother's Day this year. So we're excited about that. We're going to have a couple different celebrations going on. And I hope you have some great plans for Mother's Day. Even though we're in shut in our homes. We're going to have a wonderful barbecue outside. We're going to enjoy the day. We're going to have a little cake, parties, do some fun little games and crafts, and just spend time together as a family. So the first things I want to share with you are some books. And um, the first one is kind of a fun book because I like these, A Night Before Mother's Day. It talks about the family getting ready and preparing and what can they do for their moms. And as they set and plan and they talk to daddy to see what all can we do and what kind of things do we need to get ready. And as the mom goes, they're hurrying and rushing, trying to get everything done. So this is a really cute book. And, you know, we want to do things for our grandmas, our aunties. Um, we appreciate each one of them. So there's always great things that we need to get ready the night before. So this was a super cute book. This is Bernstein Bears, Mother's Day Blessing. Also, awesome book. Just all the fun things they do for Mama Bear. And just, we love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. And they all get together and they have a big Mother's Day party. So that's fun. This one is Clifford, Happy Mother's Day. This is another fun book. They're planning on what can we do? What can we buy, Mom? Does she want flowers? Oh my, what shall we do? And some things... Homemade are the greatest things. This is a chair for my mother. This is a great book. And it just talks about the things they want to save. And she's saving money and she wants to get something very special for her mom. So this story is really nice. I do love it. And then, of course, Biscuit loves Mother's Day. You go through here and they're trying to do things. And Biscuit's getting busy and she's trying to create something and she made her mom a beautiful breakfast. So if you're trying to get any great ideas, this is a perfect thing to do for your mom. And I know right now, if your mom is not in your home, sometimes you're away from her right now, but you could send her, uh, you could do like a live chat with her. You could go on Skype and just tell her how much you love her, read her a poem. There's so many great things we can do even though we can't be near them. This is T-Rex and M the Mother's Day Hug. And Mason, my son, loves dinosaurs. So this is why I got this book. And it's a really fun book about um, the T-Rex and his mother and how much he loves her and what he's trying to do to make her day special. This is an awesome book. And then Stay Close to Your Mama. It just talks about how our moms want to protect us and keep us safe. And they need to know where we're at and how we're doing. And they want to teach us wonderful things. So this is just a really fun book. The next one is We're Very Good Friends, My Mother and I. And it just talks about this little boy. It talks about spending time with his mom and how fun his mom is and the difference she's made in his life and how precious she is. And... He just loves her, and he tells his friends how great she is and just the stuff that they do together. So he just just spending time with their mom sometimes is a precious gift. This is I Love You, Mommy. The next one is I Love You When, and I know that I love you always. When you are happy, when you are sad, when you're frustrated, 
when you get angry or mad. We love our children no matter what. And this book here is called A Mother's Love. It's the story of the Midnight Angel. And I just want to read you this page really quick. You know she kissed your forehead, even though you're sleeping sound. She prays you dream of angels who protect, love, and surround. So when you're fast asleep at night, she's watching over you. She guides, protects, and loves you no matter what you do. And isn't that true? We just love our children. It doesn't matter what they do. They may make us sad, but our love for them is always true. And then I have a couple books about poems. They have some different poems in here. This is my favorite book from the thrift store. And this book is, I think it was like 50 cents or something. But it's got the cutest little poems. This poem is called Mother's Day. Who was it cradled me soft in her tummy? Who was it fed me? On milk and sweet honey. Who was it rocked me to sleep every night? Who was it showed me the wrong from the right? You were, dear mama. You taught me to say, I love you, I love you, especially today. I thought that's just a sweet poem. And then I also have some stories and poems in here. This is a Julie Andrews, Treasures of, for the different seasons. And there are two special ones in here. Whoopsie. I don't know if I misplaced the page. Let me go back here a little bit. Oh my gracious. Had to get through Passover. And then there's the Easter parade. And then there's things to plant. And the bees in May. Here they are. It's breakfast, bed for Mother's Day, and Mama's a rainbow. Of course, we think our mothers are bright and have all the colors of the rainbow. We do believe that. Now, next, I'm going to share with you some simple, easy crafts you can do with your kids, because some kids are little and they need help, or siblings could do. So this one is the footprint and then the handprints to make the flower. This is the vase. So I thought that one was really cute. This one is a little mason jar painted with a bow on it and it says mom you light up my life which is super easy and cute to do and then this one is a mother's day card they can make and it says my mom is and then you flip the petals up fun happy sweet kind loving and all the things they want to add so that's another really cute one and then this one is a handprint and footprints and it says, your love helps me bloom. And I just thought those were really sweet. And then last but not least, I want to share with you what my kids made for me. So this is my son's little handprint when he was almost two. And it says, I love you. My daughter, who is an older sibling, helped him make that. This is another one she did for me with my son. It says, I love you. We laugh, cry, we make time fly my mom and I and it's handprints upside down this is my handprint and this is my son's and it's elephant so super cute she made me this one in 2017 it says love you what I am you help me to be happy mother's day these are my treasures they hang on my walls and then this is the last one um, I'll show you a hand the one that she made, it says Happy Mother's Day, and it's got a poem on it. Her handprint, she was nine, and then it was made in 2014. So these are my treasures that I keep, and I know you all have treasures. And I know right now it's hard with quarantine being locked in. Maybe we can't be near our mothers, and some of our mothers have gone to be with Jesus. So, you know, we just want to remember to pray for those people. And we want to make the best of the day we can and make our mothers happy and proud. And sometimes just time is all the gift they need. I also want to share with you before I let you go and in this video, two verses out of the Bible. The first one is in Proverbs 31, 25. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. Praise God for that. I know she... I know my mother had to have a sense of humor. She raised six children, and she was amazing. My mom lives in heaven now, but I miss her every day. And the next verse, it's in Proverbs 31, 26. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. And I thought about that. 
in how when we are teaching our children in homeschool or how we're teaching them about the Lord, how we want to have kindness on our tongue, how we want to have joy and patience and comfort and just mercy in our hearts so that our children always feel loved. That is so important. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Most of all, I hope you have an amazing Mother's Day and I hope you have family time together and you just remember how special this Mother's Day is that God has given us another one. So thank you for stopping by. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be awesome. And if you'd like to see more videos, click that notification bell and that way you'll be notified when I make more. And you have a blessed and happy Mother's Day. Bye-bye.